the Azure websites we have, right? Or the app service which we create, okay? So the app service have this web app or mobile app or API app, everything else. Right? The logic app or, or the Azure functions. So this particular, all of the web apps, uh, you know, are supported with uh, this Kudu engine. Okay, so Kudu using Kudu like uh, if you Kudu has a lot of you know flexibility or you know you can integrate Kudu with a lot of different stuff. Even you can integrate with a source control or with an FTP client, uh, anything else, a anything or everything you can do with the Kudu. Okay, so with this deployment tool, and uh, what we're gonna do is like we'll we'll try to uh, you know uh, log into our Azure web app. Okay, and uh, we will try to log in via or explore the files what are there in that particular www root folder with Kudu console. Okay, so for doing that, let's uh, let us go and create our uh, this. <clears throat> so create our web app. For creation of web app, I just go here. I type web app and get the web app. So web app is a part of app service. I'll go and create. So basically we have some, uh, yesterday I was talking about something called as consumption plan, right? So you can use consumption plan as well. Or you can, <clears throat> so like consumption plan comes in default for Azure functions and logic app. Okay, and uh, let's go and create the Azure guy. Okay. We staff not not use rather use an existing one. So what happens is like whatever resource group you create, right? If you do not delete them, they actually go and sit in a resource group uh, uh, section. Okay, you need to go to a resource group section and uh, you need to delete them. Okay. And I'll just uh, create a free plan because yesterday I've deleted. I'll just create create quickly free plan. Okay, and let in South India, Southern India. I'll select a free tier for this. So you can see that uh, for this particular service, what uh, uh, for web app we have premium plans. I don't see a consumption plan for it. Okay, so consumption plan would depend upon you know, uh, if, like in a app service, it doesn't need to have. Uh, I won't tag it. It doesn't need to have any you know service tier or app service tier. Okay, so consumption plan is like uh, uh, the number of times you run a particular code. Those that much you know amount or you know per transaction charges would be there. So the the number of quantity of you know the runs you make. So according to that, you will be getting billed. Okay, so even and there's no start stop with respect to your uh, Azure functions or anything with consumption plan. Okay, and uh, I was working on Azure functions today. So it's quite interesting. You guys can also you know with a piece of code uh, you, you, like uh, within a uh, like <clears throat> like for an example like uh, we were working with uh, Archana had a doubt uh, in the like uh, few few. A few days back where she was trying to add uh, add some uh, you know uh, file to storage and then verify that right so that thing that sort of stuff can be done within five to six lines easily okay uh, so that is Azure functions which we will look into it and uh, let's go and uh, check our Azure web app which we have created so my Azure web app is the Azure guide WA so once I have my web app, okay, so there should be a default page which would be running. So the default page is this, okay. So what we can do is like uh, for accessing into Kudu console, you will have something called as advanced tools for the Kudu, okay. So it will take you to the, <clears throat> it will take you to the, you know, explorer or it will open the file explorer under the www root folder of this. So that is accessible via this Kudu page. Okay, and uh, you know you can see that I mean this is ultimately deployed onto some some or the other uh, server machine, right? So you can check the detail of uh, like you can check the app settings, okay, or you can even right. 
you can check the environment details so you can see that what is this particular uh, you know this particular azure website okay since uh, web app is also azure website so on what particular uh, system it is running you can check that this this is particular and the os version which on which it is running because since this being a pass services we can't actually know right exactly on what particular process or on what particular ram it's running on so you can just click the environment and you will get all the details okay and uh, like if you are giving uh, certain connection strings in your uh, uh, application on on this particular issue of web app you can actually check them in here in connection strings and environment variables you can get the path okay so where exactly each and every softwares are installed you know you doesn't want or you didn't mention about any php on this but it's php is installed okay it has all native support uh, or it's it, even it's installed with all microsoft azure sdk latest sdk so that's what so in pass right you doesn't need to bother about patch updates or other licensing stuff everything is taken care so one such example is this one okay and you you are not bothered about you know installing these all things okay whether it's your browser is updated in here or not it doesn't need to bother okay everything would be taken care and we have some certain server variables and even like these all parameters would be useful in cases uh, like in further advanced cases okay but for now for us like we'll be just consider you know uh, like uh, you can uh, <clears throat> you can use your console like cmd or partial to actually peek into the uh, like uh, the ww root folder okay so what i do is like you can you have this ui also or you can do via this command line control also so your this is a site and it went into site and the same thing you can do is like uh, you can go to the www root folder as well the same stuff and yeah so in, inside this you have hosting start.html right so that is nothing but this particular page okay so if you want to what uh, if you want to do something like uh, you want to push some file onto it right what it's very easy you can drag drop that's a one way okay i'll show two ways So I can drag drop a file okay so it would add up uh, your file and underneath this okay and the same thing you can you know access since that's being under, under the ww root folder you can access those files okay the same way you, what you can do is like you can actually uh, uh, delete the root folder as well okay and uh, rm dr w okay i need to go beneath this so i'll go back one folder level down come on Let me go away this way. Okay, so under this site folder we have www root. Come on man. Let me refresh it again. Okay. So I'll log into site. So inside the site I have uh, my www root folder. Okay, you can remove this root folder and you have some Want. let me check in my ppt so we have went through all this right and slash s slash q slash s slash q let her remote this remote this particular directory okay now bother you can create any like uh, the ww root folder at any moment Is. 
where it came. Okay, nothing is in it. Come on, man, fuck. You can do via manual process as well. So the it bit was creating a default folder, okay, www folder when you create, but there's no content in it. So what you can do is like you can actually go and you can add, okay, and you can add a www root folder, okay, and then you can push a file inside it, okay. So for that, what you want to do is like uh, you can go, let's make a directory. Come on. I have this directory created okay so once I have this directory I'll just uh, inside this I need to push my file okay but I'll try to drag my files here so one of that file which I have is mm, let go and push any of the projects which I have. Let's take deployment blog engine. I can you know take up all my artifacts or whatever application I have. I can zip them and I can actually drag them to this place so it would extract it will know that that's a zip file so the kudu debug would automatically you know extract and put all of all of your files inside this okay let's see if it's extracting and putting with a file name then we should be able to you know access on the on this page and there is no white dot png it should not display anything because we have removed that and we are replacing with the new files okay so my blog engine we have but the blog engine uh, should have you know put up all extracted folder in here let's try to log engine i expect that this all the files should be you know placed under it ww root folder Okay, but we have www and then blog engine and then we have any of the page. Let's see whether we have anything called as index.aspx or default.aspx. Let's try to access this or if it's make a compulsory that you need to put something blog in the spell is correct, right? Log engine, log engine. That's correct of the default page what, what we see so we don't have our default HTML page as well what I can do is like I can go back I'll delete this okay and then it's only you know demands try to like I uh, hope this won't will not work because it accepts the folders it's not Okay. Let me take a folder and put it. Hopefully, it will not work because it's already uh, you know unzipped, right? The content. Let me refresh. Yeah, only zip folders goes into it. What happens is like what I'm doing is when I do blog engine, right? I have this blog engine as well. The one more thing. I'll send all of them into a zip folder. Mm -hmm. That should work. Okay. 
so what we are doing is like we are trying to push in our uh, artifacts so when i say about artifacts there would be like our application files or any of the dependency files or image files whatever we have we actually take up and uh, app code yes inside app code we have so let me track let's check this works or not okay this is extracting I should I should not have any app code app code kind of folder rather I should have a direct uh, uh, you know uh, plain uh, all of the files should be under this www root folder extracted that is then it should mostly work if it's not we can find another way as well it's extracting Okay, let's refresh our page. Still loading up. This is done. To go here, I'll go to overview. So these are the transactions which are happening on this particular server, right? You can see the data in means uh, the inside, like we are copying into that particular file, right? So that is data in and the data out. I hope this is not working. Configuration file, something remote. Okay, custom error mode is off, like I need to on. So that it would show up the error, okay? So, but basically what it is doing is trying to render the page, okay, but since the custom errors are off, okay, so it's not displaying the proper uh, error page, okay, so it would work out, okay, you guys can try or you can select a simple application and try to push into uh, push into Azure websites using Kudu, okay, and let me know, okay. Hey, uh, Girish, this Kudu comes along with Visual Studio or Azure, or we need to install it separately? Ah, uh, no, actually, uh, Azure Websites is there, right? So Azure Websites okay. is coming with Kudu. Kudu, okay. So, okay. So it doesn't need to install anything. You interact with Kudu via command or command line or via, you know, partial. Okay. Yeah. So okay. you can see that my blog engine article, which I actually downloaded, uh, this is a blog engine article. Okay, which I have downloaded from you know free templates. Okay, online. Okay. And uh, I'm able to you know push that into Kudu. Okay, using this particular console. Okay, and uh, it's directly I didn't do anything. Okay, I just extracted my file, zipped my file, and put it here. It actually extracts by its own, and it's it knows that what to run. Okay, initially so, when I ran for the first time, it threw error, but the second time uh -huh. uh, you can see that uh, the complete website is there. Okay. So this is basically when say, once we deploy our application, uh, you can see this Kudu. That's what. Ah, exactly. Thing, or... Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you're using Azure websites, right? Azure websites is coming with the default Kudu. Okay. Okay. So, like it's easy, right? You can see each and every file. You can delete whatever file you don't want. Okay. You doesn't right. need to install FileZilla on your system. Okay. And then peep into it and then put your files like yesterday we did it. Okay. Correct. Instead, we have everything, the tools are there, like it's your way, how you want to do, you want to use a UI or you want to use a console to do your stuff. Okay. Yeah. You can add extensions, you can add web jobs or web hooks as well to this particular Kudu, or you can integrate this Kudu with source control, like you want, you can actually connect with a source control as a like GitHub or VSTS, anything. Okay. okay. So whenever you do a change in that particular, you know, uh, GitHub, it will have the code okay. uh, reflected here. So that also we're gonna do today. Okay. okay. So basically, what I did is like I just uh, took any template from a blog, blog code from, and I'm able to deploy into this particular Azure websites using Kudu. Okay. Okay. Uh, 